Psalm 110 verses 5 and 6 are prophetic of the millennial reign of Christ. Verse 5 of Psalm 110 reads, The Lord is at your right hand, he shall execute kings in the day of his wrath. Jehovah has come into the field of action with a sword in his right hand and earthly power dies before it as though smitten by the hand of God. Those who dare oppose shall meet with swift and overwhelming ruin. When the people acclaimed and gave Herod Agrippa a great ovation, they shouted, It's the voice of a god, not of a man. He apparently didn't refute the claim expeditiously enough and in Acts 12, 23 we read, Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with sickness because he accepted the people's worship instead of giving the glory to God. So, he was consumed with worms and died. NLT Concerning the end of the days of God's wrath, we read in Revelation 19,11,15, Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and he judges and makes war in righteousness. 15 A sharp sword came from his mouth so that he might strike the nations with it. He will shepherd them with an iron scepter. He will also trample the winepress of the fierce anger of God, the Almighty. HCSB Psalm 110 6, Jesus Shall judge among the nations, he shall fill the places with dead bodies, he shall execute the heads of many countries. Perhaps it is best to let the word of God speak for itself. If there is to be no millennial kingdom on the earth, then these few unfulfilled passages make no sense. The Bible teaches that Christ is coming again in a final act of separation after the great tribulation, where he will judge the nations of the world from Jerusalem in righteousness and justice, leaving mankind without excuse to not turn to him. Psalm 2 8-9, Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance and the ends of the earth your possession. 9 You will break them with a rod of iron, you will shatter them like pottery. HCSB Psalm 50 colon 1-6, Yahweh, the God of gods speaks, he summons the earth from east to west. 2 from Zion, the perfection of beauty, God appears in radiance. 3 our God is coming, he will not be silent. Devouring fire precedes him, and a storm rages around him. 4 on high, he summons heaven and earth in order to judge his people. 5 gather my faithful ones to me, those who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. 6 the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God is the judge. Selah, HCSB. Isaiah 2 2 4. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be established at the top of the mountains and will be raised above the hills. All nations will stream to it, three and many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us about his ways so that we may walk in his paths. For instruction will go out of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. For he will settle disputes among the nations and provide arbitration for many peoples. They will turn their swords into plows and their spears into pruning knives. Nations will not take up the sword against other nations, and they will never again train for war. HCSB None of this can be predicated on history since it has not happened yet, neither can we move from the dispensation of grace directly to the great white throne judgment and not allow the scriptures to prove themselves accurate.